Hello, everyone. Welcome to NDC Offers and Orders on Sabre Red 360. The webinar will begin now. Thank you so much for joining us. Our presenters today are going to be Victoria Turon and Jennifer Kramer. Jennifer is our specialist that will be presenting everything you need to know about NDC Offers and Orders. And Victoria is going to give you a short uh, demo. Please keep in mind that this webinar will last 60 minutes. Please keep your lines muted at all times. We are recording this session, so don't worry. You'll get a recording afterwards. The chat will be available at the end. We may not get to answer every single question that you may ask, but don't worry because we'll be sending you a post-event highlights email with uh, answers to every single question that we get today. Um, your feedback, as always, is important, so please keep in mind that we'll be sending you a short survey. Please. If you can answer to that survey and help us uh, deliver great content such as this one. The webinar will begin now. Uh, Jennifer, whenever you, you want to take over. Jennifer, are you available? There we go. Can you hear me now? Yes. OK, yeah. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Perfect. Thank you. I freaked there. <laughs> <laughs> OK, well, thank you very much for that introduction. And thank you everyone for taking the time to join us today. My name is Jennifer Kramer. I'm a product and technology consultant for Sabre. And today my colleague Victoria Torin and I will share information to help you prepare for the launch of NDC offers through the Sabre marketplace. While we will look at NDC through the lens of the American Airlines implementation, it's important to note that this subject matter is universal in nature and applicable to consuming all NDC content through the Sabre Marketplace. We recognize people attending today's call are at different points on their NDC journeys. So we will begin by level setting everyone with some NDC definitions and terms. We will dive into details about the capabilities that are available for American Airlines NDC at launch. Next, we will spend some time describing implications for your organization as NDC comes to life, including a demo of NDC capabilities in Sabre Red 360. Um, as Jimena said, we have reserved some time at the end for questions, but we may not get to all of your questions. But rest assured, all of your questions will be answered and we will share those answers with you. So let's go ahead and dive in. We will start by discussing the foundation of NDC. So NDC, what is it? Despite NDC being around for a while, people are at different points in their journey. So we figured we'd help to do some quick level setting on terms and concepts. NDC stands for New Distribution Capability. It's an industry initiative to evolve airline distribution technology standards. Specifically, the move from today's Edifact messaging and communication standards to a SOAP XML messaging and communication standard. The aim is to improve the retailing experience across third parties to create symmetry across the distribution path. As you are aware, airlines are building new retailing capabilities and deploying smarter offers via their direct sales channel. NDC enables those smart offers to be distributed via the indirect channel as well. The indirect channel is where Sabre plays. While NDC is rooted in the airline industry, other links in the travel value chain stand to benefit also. For example, for airlines, airlines can create new value with new content options, they can expand distribution reach to increase sales and revenue. Airlines gain greater control over what is sold, when it's sold, where it's sold, and to whom. And they have more differentiation through the inclusion of rich content like media. 
For agencies, agencies have greater access to new types of content. New cross-sell and upsell opportunities are associated with these new types of content. Agencies also have the ability to differentiate and win new business during RFI and RFP processes, especially with negotiated content. For corporations, NDC creates opportunity for corporations to negotiate new types of content options that can better align with their travel program needs and objectives. For example, if you have a lot of employees frequently traveling between specific origin and destination, perhaps negotiating inclusions such as lounge access or priority boarding helps drive compliance and attachment rates to fulfill the objectives of your travel program. As travel options are tuned more finely to the company's specific needs, there should be enhanced compliance with corporate travel policies because the presented options better align with the traveler's needs. And greater compliance and the potential for more tailored offerings also has the potential to help with balancing corporate travel budgets. For travelers, access to new and more relevant travel options is key. NDC helps to carve the way towards personalized retailing experiences. Sabre is well positioned to help you adopt NDC because we work with each constituent in the travel value chain. We provide access to NDC via our offer and order APIs and our agency solution, Sabre Red 360. Corporate travelers can access NDC offers using our online booking tool, Get There. Working with Sabre to activate NDC capabilities you can expect to realize a variety of benefits like access to content at scale, including NDC offers, maintain the same experience in the booking process for both traditional content and NDC content, and support corporate travel policy adherence. There are varying NDC schemas and implementations across airlines, which introduces significant levels of complexity. NDC implementations are not rinse and repeat. They are not cookie cutter. They're not plug, plug and play. Each one is unique. Our approach to technical design allows us to integrate and normalize multiple types of content, including traditional ATP Co Edifact content, low-cost carrier XML options, and NDC offers. We consolidate that into a single workflow to help your teams maintain efficiency. Sabre's product development is API first, meaning we consolidate and normalize content across suppliers and expose a uniform experience and capabilities to our customers through a set of offer and order APIs. I know I have mentioned the acronym API multiple times. So for those that don't know, API stands for Application Programming Interface. We are API led and Sabre Red 360 and Get There then consume these APIs and expose these capabilities to our consumers. Our developer customers have access to our API enhancements at the same time as our internal product teams reducing the delay in end-to-end -end adoption across key constituents within the value chain. Today, Sabre has access to 14 airlines um, with NDC content. We launched American Airlines NDC content on April 3rd, followed a week later on April 10th with United Airlines. Prior to April, we launched the Avianca Group carriers, Finnair, Qantas Airlines, Qatar, Singapore Airlines. And on May 1st, we started a soft launch for the Lufthansa Group carriers, including Austrian, Brussels, Lufthansa, and Swiss Airlines. This shows us a complete look 
at all of those carriers that Sabre is in discussions with in the exploration phase or the discussion phase, discovery phase um, for NDC. So we are working with over 35 airlines. We have already talked about those carriers that have been launched, and we talked about the soft launch of Lufthansa Group. Following the Lufthansa Group um, launch later on this year, we are planning to launch NDC content for Aero Mexico and Emirates Airlines. We are in the discovery phase for LATAM, Air Canada, Air France KLM, Iberia, British Airways, Malaysia, and Cathay Pacific. And we are in the exploration phase with all of those additional carriers listed at the top of the page. So let's go on and take a look at um, how we can gain access to American Airlines NDC content. As I said, Sabre launched American Airlines NDC content on April 3rd. And let's turn to preparing for that launch of NDC content in your agency. Sabre launched American Airlines NDC content in 95 markets. Please note the key in the lower right corner to identify cash only markets where seats are not available. This is specific to Korea and those markets where local currency is supported. I'll just give you a moment to take a look at that. In December, American Airlines announced a distribution strategy stating that 40% of fares currently distributed via traditional channels will be made exclusive to their NDC offering. While some high level information on what 40% represents is available here, the full extent is yet to be clarified and customers are advised to contact American Airlines directly for further details. Inventory will remain via traditional channels. However, <clears throat> certain fares will not be priced via the traditional availability pricing workflow. The adoption of Sabre's NDC product will be required to consume all fares on offer by American Airlines. Prior to launch, Sabre held a production pilot with select customers, which started in January of this year. As a result, we are well positioned to launch American Airlines NDC content in line with their distribution objectives. Here we can see Sabre's NDC launch capabilities and how they are aligned with American Airlines. <clears throat> Sabre has the ability to shop price, book, and pay for single adult offer and orders, as well as multi-adult offers and orders. The difference between the two is for a single adult <clears throat> offer and order, Sabre also has the ability to service those orders. And by service, I mean void, refund, process voluntary exchanges, and cancel and retain ticket value. Servicing capabilities for multi-adult offers and orders are currently being developed and scheduled to roll out later this year. Activating American Airlines NDC content can be done by logging on to Sabre Central Marketplace <clears throat> and searching for NDC offers from American Airlines. After you accept the terms and conditions, you will need the following information to place the order. <clears throat> you need the agency name, agency headquarters country, pseudo cities to be activated, and valid IATA numbers. American Airlines does not support TIDs. This is what the ordering page looks like. NDC is activated at the pseudo city code level. If you use Sabre Red 360 as your point of sale, select yes in that field. 
if you are a developer and want access to American Airlines NDC offer and order APIs, select yes in that field. The NDC search book and service app does not apply for American Airlines. The Sabre Red 360 shopping tie condition indicates your display preference if two offers have the same carrier, flight number, class of service, and price. This can be changed at any time by modifying the order. On Sabre Central, you will find lots of NDC resources. Under the Support tab, then Additional Support, check out the NDC folder, which brings together a variety of resources. These include new airline-specific pages, which contain details about currently supported capabilities for each airline in production. Also, Sabre Red 360 release Release notes can be found here, a getting started with NDC guide, <clears throat> as well as a step-by-step -step NDC ordering guide. Previously recorded webinars can be found under AANDC info. All of these resources are updated on a rolling basis. Now I would like to turn it over to Victoria to show us a demo of AANDC and Sabre Red 360. Thank you, Jennifer, for that great presentation and introduction to NDC offers and orders. We're going to go ahead and we will do a short demo on uh, NDC in the Sabre Red 360 workflow. One of the things that I would like to clarify first and that Jennifer will actually share with you at the end of this webinar is that this is just a quick demo. I could actually spend hours talking about NDC. We have a training that's two hours long, so I'm going to do my best to squeeze uh, some content and give you time for Q&A um, in 20 minutes, maybe a bit more. But just keep in mind that all the details are actually covered in our training sessions that are available for you, and those are two hours long. So what I'm going to do to begin with on this demo is to actually use a profile. So I'm going to move over my profile and I know that some of you may not use profiles and that's okay. All right, I'm going to do this for demo purposes so we simplify some of the things that I have to do, but just know that those of you that do not use profiles can also use NDC. I'm actually doing this just for us to save some time. So, I'm going to move the profile over first and in order for me to be able to get into the NDC offers, as Jennifer mentioned, this is actually integrated into one of the most beautiful tools that Sabre Red 360 has. That's under AIR and under AIR you're going to find AIR shopping. Again, this works for any type of fair. We're going to focus our content today on NDC offers exclusively, but you can go ahead and use this and get Sabre fairs, API fairs, and again, all the content, it's going to be integrated into the same result page. I'm going to add my cities here. This is going to be actually a round trip. I'm going to pick up the date from my calendar. So as you can see, I can move with my keyboard. I can also use my mouse cursor. However you feel more comfortable with, you can always go ahead and decide how you want to work. For this demo, I'm going to do this for only one adult, but as Jennifer mentioned in her introduction, American Airlines enables you to do up to nine adults. We're going to just stick to one person in here, and you're going to see that the carrier is auto-populated. That's because there's a preference on that profile that I moved over first that it's going to indicate that I want to use American Airlines. However, you don't have to add the airline, and if you want to add more than one, you could, because the purpose of this demo is to show you American Airlines offer. In this case, I'm going to leave that qualifier in. Notice that most of the qualifiers that you normally use for you to do an air shopping can also be included when you are looking for NDC offers, and that's going to be awesome for you. The workflow is exactly the same. 
as far as the advanced qualifiers, I'm going to actually select one of the qualifiers that is actually relevant to NDC. We have, of course, a lot of advanced qualifiers that we can always use no matter what the type of fare you're looking for is. But the new qualifier that it's actually relevant for this demo today, it's exclude fare source. So I'm going to exclude fare source because in that way, I am going to be able to indicate that on the next Next page, I just want to see NDC fares. One more time, remember that the idea is that you get all the content simultaneously. So if you don't select this qualifier, you're going to get everything on the next page. In this case, I'm actually selecting this so I can only get NDC fares on the results page because that's what we want to learn in this demo today. But this is not mandatory at all, and you can get everything on the next page. So I'm going to exclude anything else but NDC fares. And I'm going to shop air fares in the result. It's going to be our standard air shopping result. Again, as I normally say in my training, if you're not familiar with air shopping as the tool itself, just go ahead and explore it because it's a wonderful tool that you can use for all types of fares, not only for NDC. So if you take a look at the response again, there are a lot of things that have always been here. We are going to focus on the NDC offers for this demo. So you will be able to see right at the top of the different offers that we are looking at that this is NDC content. Other than that, you would see Sabre right here at the top, but NDC is what we requested. Now here we have what the flight offers are going to be. You're going to have some characteristics of these particular flights. You're going to have the, the fares, and this is actually the total price where you can hover over and get the breakdown. And you will be able to see some names that are probably familiar to you, such as the uh, brand uh, names. This is actually known as branded fares. They do also apply to NDC, and you will be able to see some names that are familiar to you. Remember, and I'm going to close this for a second before we take a look at this, that there are filters you can apply in case you want to get something different on the result of the screen. There's an order that you can also change in case you want to actually redistribute the results in a different way. So when we take a look at the offers right here that we are having access to with NDC, you will be able to open up the panel and you will get more information about this particular offer. Again, the terminology we deal with with NDC, it's a bit different. This is not actually itineraries or prices. These are NDC offers that we will go ahead and select and adjust if we want to. So right here, you will be able to see main cabin. You're going to get all the flight information, including baggage allowance, and that's also something important that you probably want to get us information and then you can just change from one to the other and you will see how the information actually changes. Not only that, you will be able to go back and forth and you will have a fair description. That will actually be a very important piece of information that you probably want to access. So you have the fair description where you have all the changes, refunds, boarding information about the attributes of this offer that you are about to, to select. I'm going to close that. Of course, we have the estimated CO2 emissions and the seat map. We are not going to take a look at those yet. What I'm going to do is to select the offer that I want. So remember, there's a lot of information you can access before you select the offer. We're going to just stick to this main cabin offer and we are going to select the offer for you to be able to see what happens here. So when you select an offer, one thing that's actually different from what we are used to do is that there is an offer time limit. 
before this offer expires, there's 20 minutes for you uh, to accept it. And this is not actually for you to run or for you to feel pr pressure. That's what I normally say. It's like you have the clock running in here and you feel like you have to actually uh, be uh, not, you know, running. That's not the idea. The airline gives you 20 minutes for you to accept the offer, but there's a real purpose behind the scenes, which is one of the greatest benefits of NDC, which is actually before you create the order to reprice. So you can go ahead and you can reprice. And I'm not going to do this because I don't have any real frequent flyer number. I'm working in a fake environment. But the whole purpose of NDC, as well as getting better deals, is that you will be able to add here your frequent flyer number. You're going to be able to click on price and then this offer will be adjusted according to who's traveling. So that's kind of the whole purpose or one of the purposes of the purposes of NDC is that you can actually customize or personalize the offer according to the traveler. So that's why you have 20 minutes. In these 20 minutes, you can reprice based on the frequent flyer number of your traveler, and this offer can get adjusted for you. Not only you can go ahead and customize the offer for the client, but this is the time for you to verify all the information that you have actually selected on the previous screen. You can go ahead and get more details on the changes and refunds. This is part of the rules. You're going to be able to see the ticket endorsement. And once again, you can access your fair description. You will get more details on the baggage. You can take a look at the breakdown for the taxes in the description as well as the fair calculation line. And of course, you will have access to the seat map for this offer that you selected. We're going to do seats in a moment. So what I'm going to do at this point, and you'll see that again, I still have a long time, but that's the purpose of the 20 minutes. I'm going to create the order. Because I'm using a profile, all my passenger information, it's actually auto-populated. Of course, as mentioned at the beginning, you do not need to use a profile. If you have those, that's, of course, great because the information gets automatically displayed. But if you don't have the profile, then you will be able just to add the information as you normally do. So I have a phone number. I can go ahead and I can link it to the traveler and all the information from on my profile, it's going to be auto populated in here so I can easily create the order. When I click on create order, you will be able to see the successful response showing to you that the order has been successfully created and there's already an order ID. This is basically the order ID that American Airlines generates immediately for you, and you will be able to see kind of the itinerary and what the total price it's going to be for this order. At this point, you can go ahead and work however you normally do. So what I'm going to do is just to claim my screen with shift and backspace. You can go ahead and go to some of the formats that maybe you like. So if you want to go back to the manual command and you want to do a display A and end the record with a format, you can. You can go ahead and display the PNR out of the PNR tab at the top of the screen. Personally, something that I use a lot is my trip summary. So I'm going to go to my trip summary, which I can access from the suitcase. I'm going to have just the basic information. The only thing that I'm missing in here, it's a saver PNR locator. So remember, the order ID has already been generated. I'm going to end and retrieve. When I end and retrieve out of my trip summary, which I find pretty clear and easy, I have my Sabre PNR locator at the top of the screen. By clicking on the Sabre PNR locator on your trip summary, this is how you can access the picture of the PNR. This is the full graphical display of the PNR. As mentioned, if you want to go to your manual command and you want to do a display A, you will be able to do that. 
However, a lot of things are going to be better seen by accessing the graphical layout. And as mentioned, you can go ahead and simply click on the PNR locator at the top of the trip summary to get those details. This is quite important because your trip summary will give you access to all this information and on the graphical PNR, everything is very well organized. So you will be able to see the summary of your itinerary where all the copy options, printing options that you may normally use are available, same as with whatever Sabre standard booking. And then you have your PNR divided in different tabs. So here I can see my itinerary. I'm going to see the status. I can open it up. From here, I can access the seat map. I will be able to see my quotes. All my quotes, I'm going to be able to see all the details that we talked about before. My ticketing time limit, of course, which is again something different from that offer time limit. This is the ticketed the, the ticketing deadline that we all know, traveler information and any remark. So right here, you have all the information in a very easy to read way, so you can take advantage of these. Of course, the ticketing will be seen once we actually fulfill this order. But before we do that, once again, I'm going to clean the screen and I want to show you that out of the trip summary, you can also do a couple of things. So like if I wanted to assign seats, for example, I can also do it from here just by clicking on the three dots at the end of my segments. I could also do this out of the itinerary that we were displaying. I'm going to see all the seats. I can assign seats that I have to pay for. I can assign seats that are available for free. So that's totally up to you. We're going to see what happens when you actually ask for a seat, when you actually generate a seat assignment with NDC offers. So right here, I'm going to select a seat for the outbound that automatically will assign this to my name. I'm going to click on the second leg and the same. I'm going to assign a free seat. For the return and I'm going to click on save. Let me click on save again because sometimes on the training environment we get some strange responses. So let me just go ahead and do it again. I'm working on a fake environment, so sometimes I need to double click on some options. So this is the response that you are going to get. You're going to see seats have been successfully saved. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close this. And one of the things that you will notice is that with NDC orders, you're not going to have to end the record all the time, same as what we do whenever we do a change with the Sabre standard bookings. So when you actually make a change, like assigning seats or maybe doing a change to some of the traveler information, you don't normally have to end the record. So you're going to see that right here. When I click on end and retrieve, more than likely, this is the response that you are going to get because behind the scenes, once you do something, the record gets ended for you. So that's one thing that's going to be kind of different probably to what we are used to do. What I'm going to do is to go back to my graphical PNR by clicking on the PNR locator on my trip summary. And I will be able to see that under my quotes, I have now not only the order price, which we're going to fulfill in a moment, but you will also see that automatically the airline has actually created two new items for these seats. Because these seats that I've assigned are actually free of charge, the airline will show this item as ticketed. Of course, if you've actually selected a seat that has a charge, the airline will not ticket this right away. And this is something that you will see as part of the fulfillment and you will decide whether if you want to fulfill these order items that have a charge or not. But in this case, I have assigned seats for free that actually belong to the cabin or the offer that I selected and the airline actually has taken care of that already. So 
what we are going to do now is to fulfill the order. We have actually gone through all the steps. We were able to see the offers. We selected one. We were able to see how the information got auto populated or how you could complete. We have assigned seats already. So what I'm going to do now is to fulfill the order. I'm going to clean the screen once again, and what I'm going to do is to go to workflows. Out of workflows is where you are going to continue working with this reservation or order. You will be able to see different items. Again, this is not going to be a ticket that we will issue. This is basically an NDC order that we will fulfill. So I'm going to click on NDC fulfill order, and this is where you're going to see what I was telling you about seats. When you actually go to all order items, which is going to be selected by default, you will be able to see the order, the actual order, number one, which is basically the offer we selected, and then you will be able to see the order items for the seats. If again you needed to pay for these seats, this is not going to show ticketed and you can go ahead and fulfill those seats simultaneously with the order. So this is again showing ticketed already because these seats are free of charge. I'm going to just leave this as it is all order items when I go to the form of payment, of course, if there was a form of payment in my profile that will come up automatically for this demo. I'm going to just select cash as the form of payment and I'm going to click on NDC fulfill order. So. This is the response that you're going to get fulfill order successful and you will see the order ID that we were seeing at the beginning for American Airlines plus the ticket number and of course the amount and the PNR locator for Sabre. This warning we are getting here has to do with the ticketed items for the seats. So this is just saying I couldn't issue this because it's already fulfilled. That's because of the seats free of charge where the order has already been ticketed by the airline. So at this point, I can actually display tickets. And you will see that these will automatically take me to the graphical PNR under the ticketing tab. I'm going to just close the workflows just for us to have the full view of this display and you will be able to see how Sabre actually divides whatever it's an electronic ticket with the NDC tickets. And this is something important that Jennifer has mentioned and I would like to um, reinforce and is that I can have an NDC booking, but if I want to squeeze in just a standard airline segment and I need to issue an electronic ticket, I will be able to have all Sabre content integrated with NDC content. So hotels, cars, other airline segments can be actually together with this NDC order that we have here. So I have that um, those specific fields for NDC tickets. I can open that up and that's going to look like the same as an electronic ticket is not something very different. So right here you can see the coupon status. This is open. I can see the base fare, taxes and the total and it will be able to access this beautiful electronic ticket receipt which of course is actually grabbing all the configuration from the traveler communication at your agencies. So right here you can also get a nice layout for your customer to see. Remember, you can go ahead and you can print this page. You can, instead of printing, save it and send it via email to the client. This is again all things that will be customized at your agency level and they continue to work exactly on the same way as you do nowadays with all of your messaging options. All right, so this is another thing that you could go ahead and use for traveler communication. 
So that's basically it as far as, far as the uh, booking process or the order fulfillment process. We've seen everything from beginning to end. Now, what I would like to show you is how the entire PNR looks like or the order. So once again, I'm going back to my trip summary and I'm clicking on the locator. We have a full field order in here so we can go ahead and we can access all the different details by clicking on the tabs at the top. So again, this is totally up to you how you want to work. I just want to remind to those of you that are very much used to formats that you can always go back to the manual command. You can also do a display A and you will be able to get some information just with formats. So I do want you to be able to see that when I do a display T, I have a ticket order. Once again, this is not an electronic ticket. You were able to see those specific fields that actually J Saber generates when you go to the ticketing tab. So no WETR display two in here. That's not going to work because it's not the same type of document. But what you do have here are accounting lines generated. So once again, the idea of this is that everything is integrated in that if you need to actually add any other traditional segment or work with your back office and the invoicing, you can go ahead and do it. So some of the formats will actually continue to work and some of the things that we normally get when we issue a ticket are going to be generated for back office purposes. What we are going to do now is to void this um, transaction. So for that purpose, I'm going to go back to my play button or workflows. So right here, we are going to actually go to cancel ticket. So you will be able to see here that when I click on cancel ticket, and a lot of people will actually ask me, all right, why does it say cancel ticket and not void? Well, there's actually a good reason for this, and it's the fact that when you actually go to the cancel ticket, if there is actually a ticket order that's outside of the voiding period and the order enables a refund, you will be able to see that the transaction type is going to change. So it says cancel ticket because if you are within the voiding period, then the transaction type is going to be void. But if you are outside of the voiding period and you have a refundable order, it's going to automatically tell you that this is going to be a refund and that's going to show you the amount that you can do a refund on. Of course, in this case, I am going just to continue and you will be able to see that because, of course, I'm on the voiding period, it's going to say type void. But if you are outside of the voiding period and the airline allows and you have a refundable order, you'll see the refund type here and the amount with a minus sign. The airline takes care of the refunds, but this is basically what's going to happen when you go to cancel ticket. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and cancel ticket. So once again, the successful response appears and I am going to actually take a look at the ticketing tab when I click on display tickets and I will be able to see that right here, if I open it up, the status has changed to void. Another thing that happens immediately is that when you void a ticket and remember what I was saying that um, it's going to happen automatically is that basically this will end the reservation for you. One thing you're going to notice when you void something is that the itinerary 
gets canceled automatically for you. So that's basically how NDC is going to work. As mentioned, we do have a training that's two hours long for you to see the details on this. But when you actually void a ticket being inside of the voiding period, your itinerary will be canceled for you, your NDC itinerary. If you have other segments, that's not going to happen. But if you have, if you void and you have NDC segments, if you void an NDC order, your NDC segments will actually be canceled automatically for you. So you're going to see at the top, the itinerary is gone, and if I go to my trip summary, then this is not showing my itinerary anymore. So again, and there's no need to end and retrieve, that actually happens automatically for you. So we fulfilled the order, we have voided and see how fast that is and how NDC actually will automatically get rid of the segments for you. What we're going to see right now is the exchange shop tool. And for that purpose, I'm going to ignore this record and I'm going to display another PNR. Of course, the PNRs can be actually displayed um, in the same way as you normally do with any other Sabre uh, PNR. So I'm going to use right here the record locator. And you will be able to see that I have the PNR. I can do a display T. There's a ticket order that I issued earlier today. So we could take a look at the exchange process, which is extremely simple. So just so you get familiar with what I have, I'm going to click on the record locator at the top. I'm going to show you what my quotes look like. And right here, you will be able to see that this has been ticketed for 556.81. This is for May the 7th, the 16th, and returning on the 23rd. In order for me to do an exchange when it comes to NDC, we will also work to we will also go to workflow. So I'm gonna click on the play button. I'm going to access workflows and same thing. There's a specific place for you to fulfill or exchange orders with NDC. There is an NDC exchange shop tool. This is an amazing tool and it's extremely easy to use. You just need to understand how it actually goes. So basically you can go ahead and see that your original segments are actually displayed. What you're going to say is which one you want to exchange and which one you want to keep, or maybe you want to actually exchange both. But right here, I'm going to just change the outbound. So right here, I just want to keep the return as it is. That actually makes my return disappear. I said that I want to exchange the outbound. And basically, that's what I can change from here. I'm going to say that I want to depart one day later. I could select the times if I wanted to. And the whole concept here is that you are not going to be exchanging this right away. What you're going to do once again is to shop airfare. So basically, this is going to ask for the airlines for offers for this exchange. If you take a look at what we have on the screen, I have now offers for the 17th instead of the 16th. And right here, I'm able to see whether if there's an ad collect that applies, if there's an even exchange, as I actually scroll down, I'm going to see the different offers with different flights. So right here, you're going to see connection flights, connecting flights, sorry. So all the information shows in here, but this is basically an offer for the exchange, which you will have to take and fulfill. So this is how it works. You are actually shopping for exchange offers. You will be able to see again the amount and all the other information mentioned. I can open that offer up and I will select it. So it's 
again, the same concept. We're going to select the offer. There's going to be an offer time limit. We will be able to verify all the information as we did before, and I'm going to rebook the order. At this point, the way in sorry, the way in which you're going to proceed is the same as when you fulfill the order for the first time. So basically you rebook a new order for the exchange result for the new date. You will see it in here. So again, this is for the 17th. I'm going to click on display order and again that generated a new order for the even exchange, which I will have to fulfill. So it's the same process. You do need to actually fulfill the order for the exchange. All right. And that's how you actually process the exchange with uh, American Airlines with NDC orders. So that's about it for me on this uh, short, very short demo on uh, NDC orders and offers. I hope at least you were able to get some good information out of it. I'm gonna turn it back to Jennifer now and leave it open for some questions, but one more time, the reminder that we do have a two hour session on NDC for you to get the details. Thank you guys and Jennifer, over to you. Thank you very much, Victoria. Thank you for showing us how NDC works in Amer in um, Sabre and specifically for American Airlines. That was great. OK, so now I would like to help you prepare for the change and let you know where to find some additional resources. We'll start with preparing for the change. Adopting NDC will require your organization to evolve. The emergence of NDC will prompt technical and process changes, as well as require your team members to change behaviors. We expect traditional content and NDC offers to coexist for the foreseeable future. As airlines lean in on NDC retailing and distribution, we see parallel methods of consuming an airline's content, so traditional methods, which we're used to today, as well as NDC methods. And this is an important consideration for our consumers. So let's dig into this a little bit deeper. We're going to start by comparing cryptic commands and graphical user interface. As Victoria showed us, NDC content is only available via the graphical workflow. NDC introduces a new segment type within the PNR, and this segment type does not communicate via the traditional Edifact protocols. Interaction with an NDC order can only be accommodated via Sabre's order management APIs or using Sabre Red 360, which consumes those APIs. As such, an attempt to utilize a cryptic command against an NDC segment within the PNR even a simple command like an XI, for example, will ultimately fail. And this will fail because you have to use your order management APIs to ensure the right communication to the carrier. This is an important consideration when we look at workflow and process management, which may be in place at the point of sale. So think of like Sabre Scribe or Red Apps that interact with the PNR and itinerary, but are not consuming the order management APIs. These processes should be reviewed for compatibility to avoid disruptions to your operation upon launch. Next, let's take a look at schedule-led workflows versus shopping-led workflows. NDC does not support the concept of schedule inventory-led workflows. It leans into the offer order request where the offer starts with shopping. With our shopping workflow, we have normalized the content experience for our customers to make it easy to consume. With our shopping workflow, you can request traditionally sourced content, Sabre constructed offers, NDC offers, and even low cost carrier offers where desired and applicable. And that all comes back in one single result set. Dual paths, and meaning dual paths, I mean the GDS path, GDS path, as well as the NDC path will exist for the foreseeable future. 
While airlines are leaning on NDC, they are not withdrawing entirely from the traditional path, but maybe some fare buckets will only be available via the NDC channel. The way to get all that fare content is via the graphical shopping led path in Sabre Red 360. Um, now we're going to look at um, PNRs versus offers and orders. We've talked a lot about offers and orders here today. Some constructs that exist today, such as PQ records or FP lines, are no longer applicable within the NDC world. As such, the PNR may not contain the same components compared to a traditionally sourced offer. And sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Push the wrong button. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> PNRs. Okay. So, with PNRs, um, so, you know, where this becomes important is with automation tools and other processes. All of these processes should be reviewed to determine if there is any disruption. For example, a ticketing robotic tool. The ticketing application expects a PQ record as a prerequisite, but because the PQ is not stored in the Sabre PNR, this process is going to fail. So it's very important to review all of your end-to-end -end processes before fully rolling out NDC. And then public fares versus real-time offers. With NDC, Sabre no longer has foresight into fare filings and no longer constructs the fare. All offers are created and provided directly from the airlines. As such, the notion of repricing to obtain a lower fare or to benchmark the lowest fare needs to be considered. You know, are these principles still valid in an NDC environment? This is something that you will have to determine. You will hear the term continuous pricing which enables an airline to introduce a graduated fare model, which surpasses what can be achieved via the traditional ATP, ATP Co fare filing. So we just covered a lot of information. And here we have listed some additional resources to assist you in preparing for NDC. We highly suggest that you take a look and bookmark the Saber NDC microsite. For our developer customers, all of our documentation for NDC APIs can be found on the Saber Dev Studio. And I've already mentioned some great resources that are available on Saber Central under the support tab. And then uh, to gain access to NDC content, you will find that on Sabre Central Marketplace, as I mentioned earlier. <clears throat>